Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Cancer as a Lifestyle. So today I was at work, uh, actually sitting in the parking lot of my car, and uh, one of my co-workers came up, and look what she brought me. A whole big bag of yarn that someone gave her, and she thought of me and the ministry. So let's open this up and uh, see what's inside, okay? <laughs> So the first thing I want to say is um, our ministry has existed on donations such as this. So uh, a lot of the items that we have gotten over the years, they were scraps. They were like um, a yarn with no tags or not even full skeins. Uh, some of them were actually even pieces that were um, unfinished items. Uh, there were whips and um, never completed so um, that's the first thing I, I noticed that in this group right now as I opened it up there's quite a few items that have not been completed but they've been begun so that's the first thing I wanted to show it's like this what I'm assuming is a blanket the start of a blanket and it's all in white but it's not finished so I'm going to complete it I'm going to do this. I actually had once um, uh, someone's uh, grandmother pass away and she was making a blanket and uh, they donated all the yarn and the half finished blanket and I ended up finishing up to them and, um, and I showed it to the whole family the finished product. I just continued with her pattern and her, you know, whatever she wanted to do. And, uh, and I ended up, you know, they donated the yarn and I ended up letting them know where that blanket went to. And let me tell you, that whole entire family uh, was overcome by tears because I guess their grandma used to love to crochet. And the fact that to see her blanket be finished, even uh, though by someone else other than her, really, really brought um, tears to them. Um, they were really happy with that. So I am going to, I'm not going to unravel any of these pieces. I'm just going to continue to make or hopefully try to make something out of them. Just like this is a blanket. It's unfinished. I am going to finish it. And um, just, just I'm, going to, I'm not going to unravel it. I just, I, I've never done that where I've unraveled actually. So the other thing is I noticed, here's another one, and this is really pretty. And again, I have no tags on any of these. This is actually um, a green and a black together. And I see, and they're two solid colors, and I see that she's, uh, whoever it was, started a scarf. You can't see it very well, but what they did is they combined the, the green and the black together. And, uh, and it ended up in a scarf, but they, she just did not finish it, which this works out really well because, and it's actually whoever, uh, whoever the belong, this yarn belonged to, they were very close. Um, they crocheted very tightly. I can see that the stitch work is just really, really, uh, tight. And I also believe that they had a cat because can see some hairs <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna and actually you know this month I am doing scarves so I'm gonna finish this one definitely and um, it looks like it's a double crochet but it is really tight and I'm going to finish it and I'm gonna wash it and send it off on another item that I've noticed in the bag and this is so pretty and I'm assuming that this uh, they started a blanket out of this look at the pretty color the color wave on this this is just so adorable it's a lot of light pinks I mean excuse me blues and greens and white together and this seems to be I imagine it's a, a blanket that they started and here's the yarn very nice. I, yeah, so I'm going to continue with this too. And the other thing, another one item here is this one. It's in a bulky and it's a half finished hat. As you can see, it's a hat. 
So I'm going to definitely finish this too. It kind of makes me wonder that the person who um, maybe this, uh, this belonged to no longer is with us because uh, I can't imagine um, a fellow crafter uh, beginning projects and not finishing them um, but just you know getting rid of the items. Usually we, we start something and uh, if we give away our yarn it's because uh, we give away the yarn. Now this is looks like a really interesting, this is just a, a lot of the black and the black is very thin. Look at how thin it is. It's very thin. There's a whole bag of this but I am thinking this ring looks to me like it might have been a beginnings of a sweater because I see the v-neck, the collarbone right here. Very pretty. Whoops, I lost it. <laughs> and then I got this, but I don't know what this is supposed to be a purse. Look how pretty it is. A bag of some sort. And all the colors for this are in this bag. So you have some in here. I have some a darker shade of blue. There's um, purple. And there's even some white in here. And I believe there's a, even, um, what is this? And there's some black. So, uh, and there's a lavender, a lighter shade of purple, but this is so pretty. And uh, I wonder if she was continuing on or trying to make a larger bag also. I'm not sure, but this is very, very adorable. I really love this. Oh, and let me show you so what else was in the bag. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this fun little scarf. Oh, look at this is how it's I thought it was tightly but it's actually not this is a that terry cloth yarn look at that pretty tight what a fun little <laughs> how cute Okay, so the next thing I did, it was separated all the yarns that actually had tags on them, labels on them. So this one happens to be from Lion Brands, Jamie. Look at this color, it's so cute. And this is the color wave, let me see, Caribbean Stripe. Look how pretty that is. And it's just this one little piece, but you know, I can make a hat out of that for sure. That's one thing. Then I noticed that there we have the Brunet, Brunette, excuse me, baby blanket. And what color is this? Hold on. Oh, it's white. It's cream. That's what it is. So adorable. So soft. It really is soft. And then we have the loops and threads what color is this pink rose loops and threads pink rose this is the what the country loom baby so I have the pink rose very pretty this is very very pretty very soft and then the Loops and Threads Country Loom Baby in the Lavender. The yarn got all squashed from the bag because I think she threw it in there like, but this is very pretty. This is the Lavender because she bunched it all up. Then I got two skeins of the Burn It Baby Blanket in the, let's see which color wave is this. Oh my goodness, the Little Cosmos, and there's two of these. Okay, then we have the Sugar and Cream in the color wave Hot Green, and that's the cotton. 
there's another pot in here. Here's another sugar and cream in the black currant. Very pretty too, I like that. Then we have the baby brunette. What is the color wave here? In the pink flannel. That's very pretty too. And then there are Karen's Simply Soft. She got quite a few of these. This is the off white. Then the Karen's Simply Soft in the chocolate. That's real chocolate right there. Then the Karen Simply Soft in the black. You can never have enough of black and white, I'll tell you that much. And then the Karen Simply Soft in the watermelon. Mm -hmm. And then let's see, yes, Karen Simply Soft in the soft pink. And then I have two Karen Simply Soft of the Harvest Red. What's the other one? They're both reds, yeah. Harvest Reds. Two skeins of the Harvest Reds. And let's see, then we have another Lion Brand Jamie in the, what is the color of this? Oh, Peachy. That's what it is, Peachy. Peachy King. Then I have a Big Twist Value, and this is the Soft Gray. But I think that was used, or some used from here, because look, it, it's, it's a little missing. But that's the Soft Gray. And then I have a big skin of the Burnett Pipsqueet. And I think this is that scarf that she was making out of it. Um, this is the Aqua. That's pipsqueak. Yeah, that's that scarf she made. I just made mess all over my. Now this one, I can't see the label. This is the mauve, but I don't know from where because the label's cut off. Uh, maybe you guys will recognize it. It's from the mauve. This called mauve. This can't be mauve. That's what it says. Hmm. But it looks like a burgundy to me. Okay. And now I'm going to show you guys all the ones that do not have a label at all. And they're actually not even full skin, some of them. Okay. Uh, so here's a little bit of pink, a small skin of that. Then I have this one here, which is a blue and a white. Can you see that? That's like a blue and a white. This looks like it's a Karen Simply Soft and probably the Aqua. And again, she started something. She started one. And of course, the black. And this one is, looks interesting because it actually has sparkles in it. It's a black with sparkles. I can't show it. It doesn't come through. But it actually looks like tinsel almost. Oh. And it's just this little bit. And then this one I recognize from Kmart's uh, Baby Yard. But I don't know the color. The name of it. And it's the green and the pink. I mean, excuse me. I keep saying pink. The green and the... Uh, The green and the and the white. You see it, but I can't remember the name of it. Um, and then we have also uh, a big ball of the turquoise. No tag again. This one looks like a red heart pink. Feels like a red heart pink. And let's see, this is I think this is a Karen Simply Soft in one of the uh, Cruel Other Tops. And then we have a ball of purple. Then we have a small skein of 
this one just the way you see it it looks like it has a little bit of tan and beige together um, then there is a cotton pink nice green right here oh that came out so pretty <laughs> and a little bit of blue then we got like a whole bunch of whites in different colors and like off white and soft white and white and they're just small balls of it but like I said you can never have enough of white or black or like the basic colors you use them all the time and then here's the rest I didn't oh you guys hearing that oh my goodness that's my excuse me it's my crocheting hook then I uh, yeah and then I have this one right here in the white and then also in this awesome looking brown like that so in two of these then on the bottom, some of this fabric fusion, permanent fabric adhesive, a whole bottle. And that all came in that bag. So that is my haul. Whoever this person was, oh, oh excuse me. Sorry about that, my alarm just went off. <laughs> Whoever this person was, obviously, um, it seems to me like they might not be here any longer because they have a lot of unfinished projects that they started and then never got to finish but we sure do appreciate all the yarn and all the donations uh, it I know that there are so many videos out there of beautiful brand new yarn and you know what I appreciate everything I, I appreciate all the scraps I appreciate I am just grateful for any kind of yarn because all of this yarn will be used and I thank you so much uh, to Elsa for whoever gave her this uh, yarn that uh, even though she does crochet herself but she actually thought of us and thought of my ministry and uh, decided to not keep the yarn for herself but to donate it for us so I really appreciate that that she even thought of us so I just want to thank you so much uh, to Elsa and whoever owned this yarn before her and uh, that's it ladies thank you so thank you thank you everyone for watching and um hope you have a great day